Travel to subway. Is that it? Is that all I had to do? Fuck, I think that's all I had to do. Hey Brady, Parrish is looking for you. That's you all I had forward. to do. Alrighty. So, hello there everybody, Vespa here, and welcome back to Homefront the Revolution. Uh, I was trying to figure out how the heck to get back to Parrish. Yo, Brady. What's up? One in on the next police station attack. You got it. I was trying to figure out how to get back to Parrish in the subway, and I couldn't figure it out. Apparently, I just had to go back to the first tunnel that I came out of. So he's back down here. Uh, he's in the tunnels, okay. Where is he at in the tunnels? Can I not... Oh, okay. I can open that. Oh, so this is the war room, then. I figured we'd have a location by now. Something. What if they just kill him? How are we going to start the revolution without Walker? People need a hero. Someone they can follow. It's out of our control. All we can do is keep fighting. Hey, Brady boy. Come in. Come in. You're doing a fantastic job, pal. I better watch my back. You'll be taking over from me around here soon. Nice to have someone who knows what they're doing. Very funny. Hello. Dial 911. What's up? Hello. What brings you all the way down here, Doctor? If someone tell you we found some band-aids? Listen. Crawford sent a message. KPA know about the armory. They're going to attack. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you say? If they hit the armory, we'll lose it all. All our weapons, all the equipment. You gotta warn your men. There's still time to get them out. Not without those weapons. We need them for the uprising. We'll shit. be left fighting the Norks with spoons. We're gonna have to defend their armory. No, no, no. We need to get everything out first. Find some place new to stash it. We should turn the tables. Surprise them before they hit us. Yeah. Yeah, an evacuation's gonna take a while anyway. Huh? We need to stall them. Distraction? Like ambush time. At least we have plenty of uh, explosives ready. If it's an orc landing all the way over in Pyongyang, I like fireworks, Ethan. Yes, I, I think do. Think you can joke about killing like it's nothing? Hey, Doc. Last time I took the moral high ground, I brought a sniper rifle with me. So where are we gonna stash the guns? Hmm? Oh, it's got to be someplace safe. A few places would be better. So, uh. Hey, Doc. We don't need to use your point next. You're insane. Perfect. When the revolution starts, uh, we'll have everything right where we need it. No! What if the Norks find them? They'll execute everyone. You can't risk my people. That's not ideal, Doc, but this is fucking war, man. I spent four years begging, borrowing, and stealing to get these clinics up and running. It's a joke to even call them that. But they're all we have. All the people have. Well, be careful, Sam. I'm sorry, we got no choice. The hell with you. Shit. His people. So sweet. I mean, the doc's got a point. You need to get over to the army and help prepare the ambush. Me and Dana are gonna round up as many fighters as we can and meet you over there. Don't have all the fun without us, Ethan. Look, you gotta hold them off until we get there with reinforcements. We need to secure those weapons. You understand me? Alright, get out of my face. Don't Jesus. Alright, I'm going. Jesus. Dana, come on. My team, and I'll see you there. Philly Alpha here. Okay. On active. Ned's in trouble. Get over to the armory now. Let's do this. Anyway, on, I probably will put up a spoiler warning at the very beginning. Again, I'm doing the missions, so if you're spoiler sensitive to the missions, I'm saying this now because I forgot to when I first map, started. Is that a Take fucking this rocket? It's a real fucking deal. New weapons. Oh, <gasps> we get more weapon slots. Oh, thank you. Ned and his people are in trouble. Let's go. All right, just just one moment. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I'm still doing the story missions because I I'm actually really interested in the story. I want to see how it goes, it progresses, and doing the story missions apparently will unlock new weapon slots for me to be able to use. So now I have three weapon slots. I can contain three weapons at one time. But I was fooling around off camera just. Because I've been having audio issues where it's out of sync, so I have to like manually resync it like every few minutes. So it, it's a little annoying to have to keep doing that. So I was recording off camera, and it looked like it was fine. So I'm thinking. Now I want to let him say. We're trying to evacuate the guns, but if we can't hold them back, we're gonna lose everything. Yep. So what I do when I. 
record yeah, is I record on one machine and then I switch Andrew, to my laptop to actually Just edit. So I we think that's what weapons. that might be where the problem occurs. Best, so I'll be fooling around with that a little more. That's another reason why I'm still playing this. I was gonna play something else, but then I realized if I'm still having these audio issues, I don't want to have them in a new game or a new playthrough of something. So this game is really easy to tell the sync issues and when they occur because of the shooting. It's super easy to tell it because there's super very clear noises from guns that happen. So that's one of the main reasons why I've been playing this game a lot. And another one is I just really like this game. I'm like addicted to it right now. I just want to play more and more and more. So we're going to defend this armory. Let's just shoot them all. Maybe this isn't the best thing to use. Good God. Let's boop. Oh, shit. Um, I'm going to throw some of these at that tank. At that tank. Shit. That's not far enough. Get the rocket launcher. Let's blow some shit. Up. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Am I hurt? I'm a little hurt. I need to heal. I am not even paying attention to the people. What they are saying. Die. 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 Oh. Wow, this is like way too zoomed in for me. I'm actually going to have to take off that site. I bought the ACOG site. How do I remove it? I don't know how to remove it. Cool. That's just stuck on there now. Let's just shoot some people then. Come on. That's right. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to be like super accurate. Fall back to base. Um. Alright, let's do that. Let's get some Molotovs going. And let's run for it. Get the hell out of there. Ow. Oh, I'll be shot in the face. Sucks. How do I take something off? Alright, let's do that. Oh, fuck, we've been shot at. Shit. Where's the armory? Is this the armory? Can I have some of this? Oh, it only refills ammo. Get some of that. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Hi, everybody. Die. Uh, what am I? St I'm stuck with something. Ah, oh, boy. Let's kill everything. Come on. Um. All right. Bombs away. Bombs away! And... Bombs away! I need to kill this guy. Those guys are like super heavily armored. What is up there? I need to get up there. Alright, let's use this. Come on, use it! Gotta use that shit. Oh, ow, ow, ow. ow. Blow up! Oh, he fucking flew! Oh my god, that was awesome! Die! I am such a bad shot with this thing. Die! Ow. Stop shooting me. What hurts, you know? Where are they at? Where are they at? They're over here? Yes, they are. What the fuck? Where'd you go? Yeah, this thing is like way too zoomed. I'm going to have to figure out... I thought there was someone up here. Get to the trucks. Is Get there someone up here? Trucks. Get out of here! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, are we done? For that. Let's move. Hang on, I need to heal. I'm going to take everything that I can. Take all the shit, take all the shit, take all the shit. Where's the trucks? Let's go for the trucks. I have no clue where the truck is. Is it over... Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Let's go to the truck and get the fuck out of here. Let's do it! Come on! 
How do I get on? E, climb on. Let's go. I like how they stop shooting during the cutscene to let us actually get away. I can't. It's actually a cutscene. I can't look around. Oh, fuck. It's a tank. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Hi. Hey, you got a gas mask. Can I have one of those? Get hit. Yeah. Perish. Perish. It's a Goliath. Perish is fucking dead. I'm out of rockets. Shit. I'm out of rockets. I can't do shit. <laughs> How? That thing fucking hurts. Can I have rockets? RPGs, yes. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Give me that. Come on, where you at? Blow up! Blow up! Brady, I can't believe it. You <sighs> got a fucking Goliath. Yeah, I did! You gave me a fucking rocket launcher. What'd you expect? Shit, what are we doing? Press E to remove brain. What does that mean? What the fuck's the brain? Give me some shit. Um, oh, I do have propellant. Um, let's make some more of these. And some of these. I heard Ned didn't make it. Oh, that was Ned! I'm sorry we didn't get there at time. KPA hit us too. That doesn't matter, does it? Excuses don't bring people back. That was Ned. Have to make sure he died for something that matters. If you can get the brain back, it'll be a big win for us. So that wasn't Paris that was with us, it was Ned. Okay. Jesus. No, don't fuck! Get off there. Oh my god, what's with all the Oh, I hit the mother load for money. Hi warship. I wonder if I could shoot that down. That did fucking nothing! It didn't even phase it! Jesus Christ, what a beast! Alright, well, let's go see what this brain was. It's hard to pay attention to what the heck they're saying and try and commentate at the same time, so I missed, like, everything that they were saying, so if they were saying something important, I don't know what's going on. Brady. Hi. Glad you made it back. Hey, I remember you! I think Burnett was looking for you. I remember you, you're, you're like the kid from last time. That didn't sound good. Ned was a good man. We'll never replace all the weapons great and equipment we lost today. He died fighting for his people. Yeah, it's a loss. Cause they... Crying? I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Oh, is that Parrish? Burnett. Hi, Burnett. Oh, it's the doctor. So you made it back. Yeah. How many did? Ned and most of his people are gone. I look into the future, Brady. And in that uncertain darkness, I see a vast constellation of light. The good deeds, the joy, and the love that will be spread by all of us as we travel our lives. Each death in this conflict extinguishes those lights, and the future darkens for all of us. I want to just run away from it all. But then I hear someone calling in pain. Oh, and I, I thought you... <laughs> do it. I have to try to help. Oh, hi. I'm going back to work. All right. Try and get some rest. I, I don't think my character can rest. I don't think my character speaks. Oh, can see? And for characters in games that don't... Hi. For characters in games that don't... Hope you got some rest. If you're looking for Parrish, he's in the war room. All right. For characters in games that do not speak, I like to think that they're actually mute. And they can't speak. Where would we be without guns? Uh, nowhere really? I might only be able to have three weapons. I'm gonna actually keep that rocket launcher, because that thing is fun. I made that one guy freaking fly. Reflex. We'll try that out. I can't zoom with it right now, but whatever. Let's go talk to Parrish, is it? Who's with him? Is that the doc? No. Yeah, that's the doctor. 
How are we supposed to treat people with rockets rolling around our feet? You know, Doc, I kind of get the feeling you're pissed off about something, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Don't test me, Jack. I'm not in the mood. All right, look, we'll get you some extra supplies. Hell, I'll even get you that that that, that X-ray machine you've been hacking for. We'll get it get it rigged up so you can run it off a generator. Look, don't worry about it. The weapons will be out of your clinics and into the hands of the people in no time. Violence only births more violence. He's the got a point. Doc, this is a war. Some things are worth fighting for. Brady will tell you. He just took on a Goliath single-handed, managed to get the brain out. You're a hero now, kid. Apparently. What's up, Dana? Where you been? Captured a couple of wounded norks. I've been interrogating them. Yeah? Anything useful? I don't speak Korean. But I'm sending a message back that's universal. What do you mean? What are you doing to them? Oh, shit. Parish, turn on North TV. No. You did not. Did she make a public display? Hello, and welcome to KAC. All across America, people continue to celebrate the capture of the terrorist leader, Benjamin Walker, here in Philadelphia. It has been announced that Walker will stand trial at the Hall of Justice later this month. You believe this shit? You believe this shit? We've been busting our asses trying to track him down, and they go ahead and tell us where he is on live TV. Hall of Justice? Always be Independence Hall for me. Finally, we can do something instead of sitting around with our thumbs in our ass. He's not gonna be there. Hey, we rescue Walker from that trial, and he's gonna dial this revolution up to 11. Rescue? Easy as that. Last time I looked, that place was ringed in steel. There must be a hole in your glass, Burnett. All your optimism's dribbling down your pants. Nah, Doc's right. This is gonna be a bitch. You know what? You don't always get dealt with. Dana's creepy. What we need is some good old-fashioned shock and awe to bust them out. I like Walker. But is all this risk worth it for one man? Doc, you don't get it, man. The people are ready to rise up. They just don't know it yet. I wish I could tell them, but I can't. I don't, I don't have the words. Walker does. He knows how to reach people, how to make them understand that fear is the only thing holding them back. And once they realize that, nothing's going to stop them. Your revolution will become a bloodbath. You think there's a peaceful way of doing this? Look, we finally got our hands on a Goliath brain thanks to Brady. We're gonna steal a Goliath and put our brain in it. And that's how we're gonna bust our way inside. Ooh. That's a plan I can get behind. That yeah, is. Your boot's gonna be on the other foot for a change. Huh? Now, we don't have a lot of time before the trial, so let's get to work. Brady, I need you to take the brain to Heather. She's our best engineer. Cool. She'll be able to figure out how it works. Heather's lab's in Ashgate, but the district got cut off. We'll have to use our spy Crawford to get you inside. Sorry, Doc. He's a collaborator, but not really. If you Tell him to meet you in Holloway and come up with a plan. Tell him Holloway's down a platform up the stairs. Ooh. Good luck. Hey, I need to get a message to Crawford. Patch me through to Heather, will you? Everybody, stop talking. Supply. This is for the Alpha. Over. Hello. I'm, you know, really glad you're. Head to Holloway Red Zone. Jesus fucking Christ, kid! Out of my face. This is Philly Alpha. You hearing this? All right, hang on. I'm gonna get away from everybody. The duck is like the peacekeeper in all of this. Right, right. He's trying not to breed too much violence, but at the same time, he kind of understands that, hey, this kind of has to happen for anything to really get done. Hi. You, Brady. But uh, what I was going to say before, when we learned that we were going to store weapons in his clinic, it's kind of not a good idea because I think his clinics are known to the KPA. Like, they know where all of his clinics are. They're there to help people, since the KPA won't, basically. Or at least not normally. So, we kind of built our own clinics around, so that we can um, help people out, essentially. Where am I going? Oh, I hate it when objective markers do that! But, I was off, yeah, as you can see... This Earlson yellow zone over here, I almost did everything in it. So. We are going to try and figure out how to head to Halloway Red Zone. Is it this way? Where the fuck do we head to the Red Zone? Fucking cool down. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this one here and we'll go to Holloway Red Zone in the next one because, yeah, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm trying to keep these episodes to around 30 minutes, maybe less, depending on how much needs edited. So, a lot of that was story mission 
So most of that's probably gonna be kept in anyway. So I don't want to go too much longer. I'm going to continue right along into the next episode. So yes, there will be two episodes of this again this week. And we'll see what happens in Holloway and maybe we'll be able to bust in and save Walker. But what I'm thinking is Walker's not there. They're not going to give fucking Walker a trial. They're trying to arouse the leaders of the revolution other than Walker and just a bunch of other revolution fighters to go to this place by publicly telling everyone, hey, this is where Walker's going to be. When actually he's probably not going to be there. It's probably just going to end up being a trap and it makes and to the normal people, the people who don't want to fight and just want to be normal citizens living as they always have been, are going to be like, hey, they're giving Walker a public trial. They're actually going to try, they're actually going to be civil about it instead of just like beating everyone down and saying that he's guilty right off the bat. They're probably going to kill him no matter what. I doubt that they would ever leave him alive. But right now, he is a tool and a weapon for them to use against the freedom fighters and the entire revolution that's going on. So, that's my thoughts, since I've actually got a moment to actually think and talk about them. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to be leaving this one here. So, until the next episode, everybody. Bye!